Hey guys, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great week and weekend, 4th of July and all that stuff. For those that did not know, I was away at Anime Expo, and that is why I had a, a lack of videos over the last four days-ish. And the videos I did have released were prepared ahead of time, super rushed, and definitely not my best work, so I kind of feel bad about that. Although, it was nice to have videos released while I was away, for the most part. Obviously, 4th of July, I, I, I only had enough time to make so many videos, so... Didn't have one yesterday prepared in advance, but I'm back home now. Thank you for your patience and your understanding and AX was freaking awesome I'll probably talk about it more in full tomorrow and like a video about uh, my uh, AX 2023 experience But long story short real quick. It was a great time got to meet a lot of awesome people see some of you guys and stuff So very very fun great time. Here's some of my cosplays for those curious I was hey from darker than black and Astolfo from fate and like I said, I might talk about this more tomorrow and have like more pictures and stuff. So check that out if you're interested or consider following me on Twitter because I'll probably post some more on Twitter in the meantime. You know, that's easy and quick. So yeah, uh, for now though, I want to talk about Joey Swole because there was a video. I actually wanted to make this before I left for AX, but I didn't have time. So now that I'm back home, seems like a good time to talk about this Joey Swole thing. So yeah, thanks again for your patience and understanding and let's take a look. In a tweet with over 7,300 likes with the caption, I want a private gym. Joey Swole says, let me scroll a little bit, hold on, okay, there we go. Joey Swole says, the gym is not your personal studio to film. Stop getting upset and posting videos as someone walks through your camera. By the way, what is this angle? Uh, that's kind of creepy. Like, you're almost getting up shots of, like, anybody who walks by and stuff. Like, come on now. My goodness. All right, let's see what Joey has to say. If you're going to film at a gym that allows you to take videos, you need to do so responsibly with respect to other people. That means not getting upset if somebody walks through your camera and then posting it on social media. Influencers need to stop this nonsense acting as if they're filming, they're taking a video is more important than everybody else in the gym. That they need to stop what they're doing just because you're taking a video. I'm sorry, you don't own the place. Your video is never a priority over anybody in the gym. And let me let you in on a little secret. It's a gym, people know that it's busy. If somebody walks by, it's not gonna matter. Trust me, it's not gonna take away from your views, your likes, or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish with this video. But if you wanna go to a gym where nobody's gonna walk by, or you can act like you own the place, go to a private gym or build your own. Until then, you need to do better. Mind your own business. So once again, I think Joey Swole makes some great points. And there's something really odd to me here. Well, you know, he's talking about like influencers and all that. Like, in general, you sometimes see that like when influencers blow up and they get big, they might get an ego, might become a bit toxic. Doesn't happen all the time. Generalization. Uh, but sometimes it does happen, right? Yeah, when it comes to fitness content, it's really interesting because it's like the inverse. A lot of the biggest accounts are really chill, talk about being kind and respectful and helping other people and stuff like that. And a lot of these like smaller TikTok influencers post this fitness stuff and it's like the most toxic stuff ever. Where they're just like nasty to other people there and like think they own the freaking gym and stuff. I don't get it, man. Let's check out some of the comments. John saying, to be fair, she just said she wants a private gym. I didn't see her blame the people walking in her frame. Well, to be fair, it's not the most toxic TikTok clip that we've seen, but it's still bad. Like she comes off entitled being all like, oh, I just want a private gym when she's the one being in the way with her camera and stuff, recording people around her. Like, she's the problem, not them. That said, it would be better if she did have a private gym or something, because then she could just do her thing and not annoy people. But instead, she's going to go and annoy people and then, yeah, say stuff like that. I also, like I said, I think the angle is creepy. I don't think she should be filming in public that angle, like, especially at the gym or places where people may be wearing shorts and stuff. Like, no, dude, like, what is she thinking? Ivan says... I had to make myself a private gym to get away from all the influencers filming in the gym. Yeah, I think that's a great call. Obviously, easier said than done. I've talked about this a bit myself, too, because I do have... I mean, I live in a small apartment, so I don't have, like, a private gym. But I got, you know, I got a mat. I got kettlebells, pull-up bar. I got some other, like, weights and stuff. Uh, some stuff I can do at home, right? Like, I got, like, a mini apartment gym, basically, as much as you could possibly make with the space I got. So it does function. However, ultimately, I do need to go to the gym to lift, like, heavier weights. I don't have, like, powerlifting stuff at my house. So, yeah, you kind of have to go to the gym, potentially, depending on what your workout routine is. Uh, but having it, uh, like having the option to work out at home, though, even if it's not to the same extent, is still a great thing. So, yeah, I, I think that's a good solution, definitely, definitely. 
just saying it's uh, not always quite that simple however depending on what you're going for and like what your uh fitness program is ricky she says she wants a private gym then she should go to one or build one she can't expect everyone to navigate around her camera yeah i don't have much else to add on that one i pretty much agree uh i had uh, dom says i had to go <laughs> no no we're not even reading that <laughs> but yeah you got the random uh, uh not a gif it almost said gif reaction image there we go Joel, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Cameras should be banned from public gyms. Seems like that would probably help out. Um, why don't, or you know what? I've seen, like, I'm not suggesting this, but I have seen, like, a pretty funny comment, which was like, uh, there should be an increase in people accidentally tripping on the tripod and camera, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> dude's just like hinting. Wink, wink, right? Uh, what is this? Wait, a yellow check? This is like a business or something? What is this? Why don't gyms have policies against this at this point? It seems like a common sense thing to do. It seems like some are, but yeah, most don't yet. Moderate slash centrist says, or just work out. I guess I'm old school for just using my phone to play music, right? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, you could, you could just, you know, work out without recording and annoying everyone, right? Oh, but then uh, how dare your body improve without you getting social media clout? That's just pointless, right? Like, how dare you do something for your mental and physical health without uh, getting clout out of it? <laughs> just, oh my gosh, what a 20, 2023 thing. It really even like before then, but whatever. You get the point. Making a joke. Uh, can I just ban recording? Thanks for calling this out. Portuguese English? Was this like a bots now? All right. I want a private gym. Then get one. Brokey says, Tia. Tim says, wouldn't it surprise me if they tried to bribe the gym to kick everyone out for a private shoot? Oh no, that would surprise me. They don't, they're they're not going to spend money on that. They're just going to record people and not care about uh, you know respect. So yeah, uh, was this really worth posting? It could have been a light joke. Um, okay, bro. No, it was worth posting. Joey Swole is fine to talk about it. Oh uh, wait, this one is also disagreeing though. Let's see. Most of your videos make sense, but she isn't reacting or disrespecting anyone in the video. I disagree. I think she is disrespecting people uh, by her actions. She is just saying she wishes she had her own gym for all the reasons you're listening. Kind of like me saying, I wish I lived alone. And you're going, you should love your family. No, it's nothing like that. What the heck are you talking about? What the frick? What did I just read, dude? Like, maybe I'm maybe I'm still a little messed up from Anime Expo, but I, I, I like what is that person even getting at? Like, no. <laughs> if my take's bad, my bad. But yeah, I don't know. That would seem like weird. Teresa, I just don't think that gym should allow taping videos at all. There's no need for it. Like I said, unless you're a personal trainer, there's no need for you to shoot a video. You want to shoot a video, do it at home. Yeah, but then they're just going to say they're personal trainers. I guess like maybe she means like an official personal trainer at the gym. So they're all like known who the ones are or something. Maybe. Nate, with a point similar to the one I was kind of making earlier, the camera on the floor probably leaning on a water bottle too. Yeah, it's, it's probably leaning on something water bottle or is like a tripod there point is it's still kind of taking up space in the way of the walkway so yeah just being annoying and being obnoxious uh and we got oz i love you man the way you talk about those influencers make me happy q wordy i'm glad i ended up building my own basement gym Ooh, that sounds cool so i never have to go to a public one again what does the actual need to film yourself at the gym? Oh, they just want to like get some sort of TikTok clout based off it. They they seem to apparently value more so TikTok clout than the actual physical and mental benefits to working out. At least in my opinion, from what I've seen. Oh, look, we got another one defending them. Let's see. I love your posts, but in her defense, I didn't see a problem this time. She didn't seem to be blaming anyone. What's the comment? I'm going to sound like a broken record if I just like respond to that again. I've already made my points. Let's just see what the response is. Honest question, how would you feel if I tweeted a video of you and your family scheme with the caption, I wish I had my <laughs> What? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, it's, it's really not that deep. I'm not a fan of cameras in the gym, but she didn't act like they were doing something wrong. She basically just acknowledged that it's her problem, not theirs. Yeah, but she didn't do anything about it either. She's still like in the way. And again, maybe maybe I'm crazy. Apparently, I'm the only person with an issue with the angle that she's using. I haven't seen anyone bring it up. But like to me, I think it's also a disrespectful angle. I think it's like, it's like potentially creepy. Uh, potentially get her in a bad situation. Uh, I don't think it's smart. I'll, I'll end it there pretty much, I suppose. Let me know what you guys think about this. Hopefully this was a fun first segment back. Uh, thank you for bearing with me. Hope you enjoyed this. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your time. I will see you in the comments and definitely consider checking out Joey Swole as well. I will have some of his socials in the description for you. And I look forward to, well, as I said, seeing you in the comments and of course in the next segment.